I like to save things. You're watching our reader's world. <laughs> I just feel different for some reason. Is it the glasses? I haven't got any new glasses. Have I got a new sweatshirt to wear in the videos? No, I love this sweatshirt so much that I can never get rid of it. Oh, wait, isn't there supposed to be metal things on my mouth? Oh yeah, I got my braces off. Yeah, yeah. It feels weird. It just feels so slimy. I was checked by Olivia Reads to do the Starbucks tag, and I don't know who originally made this tag, but I'll put the link to Olivia's video down below. Question one. Latte, a book you can always come back to. An easy read. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I just love this book so much, and I want to reread the series, but I have so many books to read that I If you haven't read Harry Potter, um, you should. I mean, you're missing out. Question dos. Frappuccino, a basic book. A book that most booktubers have read. For this, I have chosen Cinder by Marissa Myers. Um, a lot of people have read this book, and I'm one of the many people who haven't. I will. I will get on that bandwagon soon. Don't worry. Don't worry, you Cinder Luna Chronicles fandom. I will join you soon. Ice Water, a bland book. A book you didn't think was all that special. Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. I just didn't really get, feel it. Like, it just, I just didn't like the characters, the love interest and the romance just didn't really connect. And I skimmed the last 200 pages because it was not the best. Why is everyone liking this book? I am definitely not going to continue on the trilogy. Coffee, a book that gives you energy. A book that will give you out of a reading slump. I think I've referenced this book so many times in my videos. That is The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. I can reread this anytime. So good. Just, oh. Skinny Mocha, a bittersweet book. A book he did not finish. The Limit by Kristen Landon. I hated this book so much, and I got way halfway through, and I just, just everyone in my school loved this book, and I hated it. It was so boring. Nothing happened. It was so dumb. And, but it seemed so epic, but it was so dumb. Just, nah. A Chappuccino. A book topped with a great ending. Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling and The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. Harry Potter will go down as one of the best endings to end a series. The Last Olympian also, if you're wondering why I'm not saying Blood of Olympus, we all know why I'm not saying Blood of Olympus. Peppermint Mocha, a book that was sweet through the whole thing. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. This is so adorable. I loved it. It seems girly, but it's not. It, it, if you haven't read Rebel Bell, you have to. You have to. Please. Please add it to your TBR. The last question is, fill in the blank, your favorite drink at Starbucks. I want to confess something. I don't like Starbucks. I don't like coffee. I don't like frappuccinos. I would say hot chocolate, but I just don't like Starbucks' hot chocolate. I like Dunkin' Donuts hot chocolate. That's, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna say ice water. I love water. I just love it. So this question means your favorite series. Harry Potter and the Percy Jackson Olympians and also slash the Here's Olympus series. I just love these. They're, they're, they're each beautiful. You can never just, I can just never decide which one's the best because they're both the best. Thank you guys for watching and I tag all of you who love Starbucks. Unlike me. Bye.